N8Wealth is one of the popular YouTubers who gained immense popularity this year due to his high-paced editing and unique thumbnail style. In this short video, I will show you how to create similar thumbnails using Photoshop. Hopefully, you'll get inspired to develop a new and unique style, just like he did. As always, all the assets will be provided in the description. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, I have opened Photoshop, and I think we are ready to create something epic. Okay, the first thing, as always, is to create a new thumbnail canvas with the usual sizes. Then, the first thing that we are going to tackle is the background. So, select a light shade of black and start painting all over the canvas with the brush tool. Once that's done, we need to add the famous graph to our thumbnail. This one is the exact same one that Nate used in these thumbnails. Don't ask me how I got it. To blend it even more with the canvas, I will select a sample from this color and fill the canvas with it. After that, I will reduce the opacity to 5%. This will help us create a more colorful background. As always, we will need to add a vignette effect like this. After that, I will drag and drop this money asset that I found online and resize it a tiny bit. Also, I will make a duplicate of it and flip the duplicated layer horizontally so we can have some symmetry on the thumbnail, which looks quite good in my opinion. Also, we may need to duplicate the money layer as we need it in the future. All right, once that's done, I think it's time to bring the YouTube logo to place. Just position it in the middle and rotate it a tiny bit. I think something like this should work. And I have also darkened the second layer of the money to add some depth to the thumbnail. Now it's time to make some glows. To do that, simply click once or twice with the brush tool behind the logo and change the blending mode to color dodge. Once that's done, we need to make the YouTube logo look more 3D. To do that is quite simple. The first thing is to create an exposure layer in which we are going to lower the exposure and increase the gamma. Once we have done that, I will invert the layer mask and start painting with a soft brush around the bottom sides of the logo, just like this and we can already feel the 3D effect starting to appear. Now it's time for shadows. You can use the exposure effect or simply use a white brush and start painting like this. But there is a trick that I learned that will make your highlights look much better. You just have to create a white dot like this and using the smudge tool, start spreading it in the contours of the logo like this. But at the end, don't forget to clip it into the logo layer like we did with the previous ones. All right, perfect. I will make a selection around this white triangle and in a new layer, I will brush on top of it with a white brush so we can have the same triangle. But this time, what we are going to do is to add an outer glow to it like this. So we have more lights in the thumbnail. Now, to the final step, which is adding the famous green box. It's quite simple to make. Just create a green box, make the corners round, and add some shadows and highlights like we did for the YouTube logo. But this time, we will add text with a bold font. Also, a final vignette will also look sick. Just be sure to put it behind your text box. For the camera raw filter, just try to boost up the saturation and add more grain to make the thumbnail more coherent. Now, I leave you with this speed art in which I will try to create another thumbnail inspired by N8 Wealth.
honest, I didn't know if the thumbnail looks really good or not. So, off recording, I tried once again, and I got this. I think it definitely looks much better than the older version. If you want to get the PSD file for it for free, you can check my Twitter profile. I will be giving the PSD file there for free for whoever likes the post and retweets. Peace out.